Muy Collapse menu. Let's go! Today I would like to create a collapsible menu with Muy React. Here's a quick demo. Using a button you can smoothly open and close it with a beautiful animation tooling the visibility of the components. This time I'm using a code sandbox at codesandbox.io. It's incredibly user friendly especially for smaller components. Setting up the sandbox is a breeze. Just click on create sandbox, choose react and it automatically installs everything you need for a react app. You should definitely consider using a code sandbox for parts of your project. In this initial step I will show you how to manually install react. I always begin with a basic project structure for all my projects. So I don't have to worry about file locations later on. I create a folder for the react files and the CSS. As you can see right now I'm naming this folder menu. This approach helps me maintain a clean import process and prevents issues down the road if something doesn't work. Additionally, the CSS file in the subfolder allows me to maintain a clear mapping of the CSS classes we will use later on. This makes development easier because as we say, tidiness is half of life. Haha. <laughs> I have provided a link to the code sandbox in the description, so you can save yourself the trouble of typing out the code. Feel free to follow this link and experiment with it. And don't forget to link up each other in the comments. With the preparation complete, we can now dive into creating components. As always, I start by importing all the necessary components as I mentioned earlier. Everything we will be using comes from React. We use this to change the state with a button allowing us to expand and collapse the menu. First off, I'm also going to install the required modules we will be using later for the collapsible menu. Since I'm working in code set box, I need to manually install these modules. In your own project you can easily do this with an npm command. I have linked these lines I just entered in the description. The modules we will be using for the components today are Material UI, Emotion React and Emotion Styles. These need to be imported and installed. As I mentioned in codesandbox.io I have to handle this manually. You can see how it's done here if you would like to use it as well. By the way, Material UI is a CSS framework provided by Google for creating beautiful applications with standardized components. It's very useful if you don't want to build everything from scratch. With this framework, you can easily create advanced websites. Adding modules is usually a quick task. In the next step, I will import the CSS we have set up earlier, allowing me to create classes and use them in my component later on. We will use the CSS to customize the component in the final chapter of the video. I will show you how to create a collapsible menu component. You are welcome to use it as it is. Or if you are creative and have experience with CSS, you can customize it graphically to your liking. After importing the necessary modules, you can start building a component. Here I am creating a classic React component. For this demo, I will cover the basics to help you understand how it works and set it up yourself. What you will soon realize is that it is relatively straightforward and you can develop this component rather quickly. Within the component, I will also set up a state right away. This will be used later to manually open and close the collapsible component in the first step. I will also demonstrate this through a button, just like at the beginning of the demo. We are constructing the component in a conventional manner. Through a return statement, we pass all HTML tags to the DOM where they will be rendered. I typically wrap everything being returned in a diff element, but you could also use an empty fragment. So far, everything has been React specific. Apart from the import, we haven't yet delved into Material UI. However, we are about to do just that and continue with the MUI component. If you haven't already, I have provided a link to the Material UI website in the description. There you will find many pre-made components that can easily be integrated into your projects. This enables you to quickly and easily create stylish components. Material UI is a widely used framework similar to Bootstrap found in many applications. Personally, I prefer Material UI because I like its elements and customization is simpler in many aspects. But it's a matter of taste, just like with other frameworks or using plain CSS. Now we are getting into the Material UI specific part. First off, I imported the collapsible card component and added the collapsible card tag to the app component. Now let's jump back to the collapsible menu.jsx file. Next, I will wrap everything in the box. 
to create your separate container. The box component is a component from Material UI that works like a container. Then we are introducing the collapse tag, indicating the collapsible menu. Here everything you place between the collapse tags will be displayed or hidden based on the open state we created earlier. This is the main component for our collapsible menu. The menu takes an input called in where we pass the state of the menu. To do this we can change the toggle state of the menu and open and close it by changing the state. We will soon add a button to do this. The state is saved in the open variable we pass here. Furthermore, we can pass a style to the component. In this style input, you will find the transition duration function, specifying a time frame in milliseconds for opening and closing a component. I recommend a duration of approximately 400 milliseconds for a smooth transition, ensuring a pleasant user interaction, neither too fast nor too slow. I am adding a placeholder h1 tag that we will later replace with an input variable in the demo. This is only to allow us to see how the collapsible menu works. I named the h1 text test so you can see the difference. When I now change the state from true to false, you will witness the menu collapsing and the h1 tag with the text becomes invisible. When the state is set back to true, the component becomes visible again. Essentially, this is how the collapsible menu works. However, we don't want to manage this manual in the code. So I am adding a button that toggles the state to open or close the component. We are using the default in the button included onClick function to achieve this. Inside the button, we are using the onClick function of the button and passing an empty function that calls setOpen the hook and inverts the open state, meaning if it's true it becomes false and vice versa, achieved by adding an exclamation mark before the variable. To enhance the user's feedback, I am simply changing the display text using a conditional operator. This way the button is shown as donate or close based on the status, ensuring the user always knows what action to take. Now we are closing the button tag and in just 10 minutes we have built a fully functional collapsible menu component. As you can see. But to be honest, it looks very functional and we need to change the design. That's what the last chapter is about. From this point on, it's all about CSS in the video. That means if you're no longer interested, thank you for watching and see you in the next time. Feel free to leave a like and a comment. I will keep my introduction a bit shorter since you should already be familiar with this. First, I'm setting up a class to center my entire container. I named the CSS class center diff and made some alignment adjustments. As a reminder, I have included the link to the code sandbox in the description, so you don't need to type this out. I just want to show you how I have structured it. It's primarily for viewing and learning, not for direct copying because it can be quite boring to copy in the CSS environment. Enjoy the background music, haha. <laughs> I also add a CSS class called title and set the color to white. Next, I am creating another class because I will make the background black. In the title class, I specify the color as white to ensure high contrast and readability. It should always be a pleasant for the user to read. Following that, I am establishing a main text class to apply a black background with some transparency to the entire component. Personally, I find this visually appealing in my design when I use such elements. Creating classes alone doesn't achieve much. To see the differences by these classes, we need to add them in the component. For example, I add the main div class to the main div. Now we can see the changes. After I added the title class to the h1 and the h2, we see the color of the text change to white. We can read it very, very good to the dark background and the high contrast of the font. Next, I want to change the transparency of the background by creating a transparent div CSS class. This is where the app.css file comes into play. When I want to create specific CSS only for a component, I store it in a separate CSS file as it keeps the structure cleaner and more organized. It also makes it easier to make adjustments later. It's a matter of personal preference and you can do it on your own way. There are no strict rules here. Now we are revisiting the structure of the component I showed at the beginning. We have a grey box with a white text or title that can be opened and closed. The next step is to add the content to the collapsible menu component. Here I'm creating different classes that I will use for the content. For collapsible menu specific CSS classes, I'm using what I created earlier under the component in the file path. 
collapsemenu.css find it visually appealing to have a div with a slight transparency when using a dark background. This enhances contrast and typically makes the text and the content very clear. I just pasted the blur code. Now let's make some minor preparations in the app so we can use the classes in the CSS file and see the changes in real time. This will help you get a sense of the effect the classes have. I'm naming the main class collapsible card and I will load it in the main div of the component. Later on only the components in the classes will be concerned and that's where the changes will be made. I like doing it this way because it makes the structure of CSS more readable and self-explanatory so you can easily follow my instructions. I speed up this part a bit. I add two new classes for the card and the content in the card where I do some fine adjustments. In addition to the existing classes, I am adding a header class to the component. This class is intended for styling the buttons and it is also wrapped in a div. Now let's start styling the buttons so we can have a clearly visible button that pulses when hovered over, signaling to the user that an action like closing the collapsible menu can be executed. To keep things interesting, I've speed up this part so you won't get bored. I have introduced three new CSS class for the header, the button inside the header and made some tweaks to the button's hover effect fine-tuning in appearance. After that I have applied these classes to the relevant HTML tags in the component. A special thing about the button is it pulses to get more attention by the user. I understand that we have covered quite a bit of CSS already. Therefore, I will skip the part I'm working on now and simply paste the input sections here. What we are doing next is creating two input fields using components from the Material UI library. This will give us two input fields where we can enter a number and for example choose a currency. I have created two hooks to store the variables for the amount and currency along with two small functions that pass the input to these variables. Now let's check the result. That's it, we now have a beautifully functional collapsible menu component. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments, how did you like the video format? Thanks for watching!